All right, guys, we're looking at Antonio's snatches here. Uh, I think this is a double at 195. We'll watch it full speed, and then we'll come back and look at a couple things. He's also chosen uh, – we'll zoom in uh, in a little bit because he apparently set it up on the from the other hierarchy gem to record himself. Um, it looks like there's a million feet away. So we'll watch it at full speed first. There's one. Here comes number two. So first, uh, we've driven, given ourselves a line here. Looks like that's breaking the ground there. So we've given ourselves a bar path. Uh, we're going to look at his back angle, and we're going to see if that's about the same at the knee first. So let's watch that as we go to the knee here, right at the knee. There was a slight change as it went up to the knee, but that looks really really good and that looks like the bar is right above the top of his kneecap so that looks really really nice so let's get rid of those though okay so we know he's got a really good angle there and let's look at a couple other things so next what we saw was as that bar comes up it actually looks like it only tracks back just a little bit into his body right it's not going tracking very far back at all from the floor to his knee. I mean, that was barely off the line, right? Dead even. That's barely off. Um, look to see it pull back just a little bit more. So when he starts, oops, wrong way. When he starts, I like to see him maybe pushed ever so slightly forward uh, onto the balls of his foot. At that start position. You can see here too, I actually thought when I watched this in full speed that his shoulders weren't in front of the bar. I mean, they're ever so slightly, it's almost even with the bar. Um, so I like to see him pushed a little bit more forward, and I think that would help him create a little bit more speed um, as he goes through his snatches as these get heavier. But he's got really, really strong legs, so he does a really good job pushing off the floor. Pulling it in. Let's see what else happens. Okay. As we're going, looks like we're at our hip now. All right. I think he's there here. So, whoops. Let's zoom in down here. So, the bar is at his hip, and he has already jumped. I like to see his feet flat when he makes contact with the hip, and then aggressively go up with the barbell so it looks like he's just a little bit onto his toes um, a little bit early with that let's see what happens here we want all right all of this aggression to be going up and let's see what happens hits his hip oh, it's going to drive out and away that looks like there's a pretty good amount of space right as it comes away from him. I like to see that stay a little bit closer because it doesn't look like it's like he could do some high pulls um, to maybe help himself out. It looks like he's driving his elbows and his upper whole upper body back, right? Not necessarily up. As so we see that there, right? You can definitely see he's got that like. Archangel, John Northey thing going on there. But that's, I mean, the snatch looks okay, but just little things for him to pick on. And then, whoops. Undo that. Let's go back down. So one of the things that I noticed, I thought at speed that I do like, he actually jumps his feet back. I'm happy to see his feet are moving. Okay, because I thought for a while that he was not moving his feet. I think he needs a more aggressive rack right here. I like to see him pulling that bar and snapping it into place. Looks like he's just kind of falling into place, and then he starts pushing. He doesn't start pushing up on the bar until he uses his really good mobility here and drives his head through. If he started 
pushing up on the bar right here and driving it back, I think he's going to find himself putting a lot more pounds on that snatch. So that's a little uh, analysis there for him. And we'll move on to someone else next.